Arise. Deputy President, you are most welcome. Naibu Arise, umekaribishwa. We are so blessed as a nation. Tumebarikiwa kama taifa. To have a deputy president who is on fire for God. Kuwa na naibu Arise ambao ameshika moto kwa sababu ya Mungu. And his wife is a pastor. Na pia mke wake ni mchungaji. Mama Dokas. Mama Dolkas. Then to have a president who is on fire for God and the first lady is an intercessor. So Sasa kuwa there is any demon that can survive. Hakuna pepo yote ambayo inaweza epuka. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Okay, uh, I also want to acknowledge the arrival of some of our fathers in the faith. Nataka pia kutambua kufika kwao kwa baba wetu wa imani. There goes a pastor Ezekiel. Ndio basi mchungaji Ezekiel pia ameingia. We celebrate the work that he's doing in our nation. Tusaya ile kazi ambayo anafanya kwa taifa letu. This is a historical crusade. Hii ni mkutano wa hadhara bound wa kihistoria. Praise the Lord. Where you have people from different faiths different uh, I mean God has gathered his army here Mungu amekusanya jeshi lake hapa watu kutoka imani tofauti people in government people in the opposition watu katika serikali wengine katika upizani all worshiping one God wote tukiabudu Mungu mmoja We thank the Lord Tunamshukuru Bwana So we have a Bishop Margaret Wangare from Banana. Tuko na Askofu Margaret Wangare kutoka Banana. Let's celebrate her. Tumshereke. She seated on the left. Ameketi upande ule mwingine wa kushoto. You know in Kenya. Najua hapa Kenya. We are the only country where women are very powerful. Sisi ni ile nchi tu pekee yake ambao wa mama ni wa nguvu sana. Very 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 powerful. Ni wa nguvu sana. You will not get any country like that on the continent of Africa. Hautapata nchi kama hii katika bara lote la Afrika. Even when I went to Asia, when I went to where, I At... never met a country with the powerful bulldozers, women who are powerful in the spirit like Kenya. Let's celebrate the Lord. Wacha tumshereheke bwana. As Archbishop Kibarabara says when God created Kenya he must have smiled. Eh eh kama vile Askofu Kibarabara anasema ya kwamba vile Mungu alikuwa anaumba Kenya lazima alitabazamu. Then we have um, Bishop Jefferson Nyatuka